To know if I'm living within my financial means, I believe in expense tracking. But one thing that turned me off a lot was that I needed to do this manually. So every time that I was going to spend something, I will have to go to my app and log it manually. But a few weeks ago, I found out a way that will allow me to automate this process. So every time that I will swipe my card, it will go directly to Notion. And what's even best is that it's super, super easy to set up. And this is what this video is going to be about. Let's set it up together. If you're new here, my name is Daniel, founder of Systemify, a digital operations agency for businesses and a certified Notion consultant. Okay, so if you are watching this video, you are already sold in tracking your expenses. Do you just think, like me, that is a pain in the butt to do it manually. So I've been tracking my expenses for like five or six years or even more and always did it manually. I just accepted it as a fact. And why did I just accept it? Because I use several banks and it will be practically impossible that all these banks will have an integration with any automation tool. So I just resigned and did it manually. But one day I was researching for budgeting apps and I found out one that could connect with my bank. So every time that there was an expense, that expense will go into this budgeting app. So that was already pretty cool. I will not have to mess up with numbers anymore. But then just by chance again, I went to make.com to check just in case if there was an integration with this app. And there was. So what did that mean? Because my brain exploded right there. That meant that now I will be able to link all the transactions from my cards to any other app that I want, to Google Sheets, to Airtable, to Notion, which is my case, to anything. So personally, I was already having all my income automatically going into one Notion database. So now I could also bring my expenses and have the full view of all my finances always in the same database in Notion. And then we can filter it, sort it, group it, whatever. So that was pretty game changer. So let me show you how to set this up. So the app that is going to allow us to do all of this is this one, YNAB, you need a budget. So the only thing that we will have to, to do is to log in that, by the way, I have left a, a link in the description to sign up for this app, which is going to give you an extra one month uh, for free. So once you have set up your, your account, which I have already done, you will create a new budget. Let's call it test. And this basically is going to give you several categories. So feel free to modify however you, however you want. And now here on the left, you will be able to link your accounts. So you will just click here. These are the accounts that I have already uh, connected. And here, just uh, find your bank. There is a lot of banks. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that you will be able to, to find yours. And just follow the instructions and connect your bank with YNAB. And believe it or not, we are done with YNAB. Now we will just have to go to Notion so we can prepare the database that is going to hold all these uh, expenses data. So let's build a database. This is going to be the description. This is going to be the expense. And then one important category, the created time. Okay, this is going to make sense later. Okay, so with this simple database, we are also done. I told you this was going to be very simple. So now let's go to the automation tool that is going to make all this possible. And in my case is make that you will also find a link to make in the description of the video. And once we create the account, we will land here in organization. So you will just have to click on create a new scenario. Here we are going to find wine up. And what we want is to list the transactions. Okay, this one is going to ask you to link your wine app app. So you will just have to click on add and just follow the steps. It is super easy. Just with a few clicks, you will be able to connect wine app to make. Then once you have set up your account, you will select which is the budget that you want to use. So in our case, we're going to be using the test budget. Probably you just have one. Then which type of transactions? Just all. That's fine. In transaction type, we don't need to put anything. And in limit, we also don't need to put anything. And then we have this since date. So this is basically since which date we want to list all the transactions. So let's say that we say uh, that we want this to, to gather all the transactions in the past seven days. So we will put here in some way that I will show you now the, in the past seven days and all the transactions will come. So the way that we are going to make this work is by running this every X number of minutes. What I do is to run this daily at night. And what I do is at 23.55. Why do I do this? Because all the transactions that are going to be read from here will have a timestamp and the timestamp is going to always going to be at the time 000. Okay, so at 12 at night. Don't ask me why, but this is how it works. And I'm going to run this daily at 23.55. And I'm going to tell this since date 
to give me all the transactions in the past 24 hours. So this, by, by running this at 23.55, is gonna take the 12.00 of the past night, which is going to gather all the transactions of today. Okay, and how do we tell make that we want this to be run in this relative date? So it's in the moment of now minus 24 hours. We go here to the dates and we go to add hours. Click here. The first part is which is the date that we want to add hours to. In our case is the moment of now, which is going to be the moment that this is going to be triggered. And here is how many hours we want to add but we don't want to add, we want to subtract. So we'll just write minus 24, and that is it. This is gonna give me all the transactions in the past 24 hours. Now, after this automation has listed all the transactions of the past 24 hours, what we want is to bring all of those transactions to Notion. And how do we do this? The same way, find Notion and create a database item. Again, this is going to ask you to log into your Notion account. Here you have to make sure that you not only give make access to your Notion, but to the database that you have created. Okay, during the setup process, you will be asked for the pages that you wanna share with make. So type there your database, click on it, and you will be good to go. But since I don't go through this process because my make is already connected to Notion, I will have to go to Notion, go to the database itself, and from here, click on the three dots, add connections and Integromat. Okay, I already had it, <laughs> but you will have to find Integromat or Make. So these are the two ways. And here we will have to search for the database where we want to be writing the data in. In my case, my finances, Make has found the database. And here we can automate the description. But here we, we are not seeing real data. So this is a little bit difficult for me to do. So what can we do? We can bring actual data. So we will go to YNAB and let's create our first transaction. For that, I will have to create at least one account. So I'm going to create an unlinked account, give it a name, this account. My current balance is 100 and this is cash. Okay, and done. And now we will just add one transaction, this account, category, let's say groceries. And in the memo, this is an outflow and I've spent 10 euros, save. So we can see already here the minus 10 of the bread. So now if we run this transaction over here, we should have one entry, which is the bread. Okay, so now that we have this data, we can see how the data is coming to make. We can customize how each entry in our Notion database is going to look like. I would like that it tells me the that is groceries and the memo, just in case I want to give extra information about this expense. So let's do it. Okay, this was not saved. So here we will just click category name, then I like space dash space and the memo. And then what has been the expense? Here is the amount. But the amount, as you can see, as it's an expense, it comes as minus 10. I don't wanna have a negative. So if we wanna turn it into a positive number, so plus 10, we can just go here, find the operators, this is the multiplication, and multiply by minus one. And that is it. Okay, so now what is going to happen if I run this? Oh, and by the way, we can see here what I said before, that the date is always the day and 000. That's what, what I said before. So now if we run this automation once, okay, something happened. Let's go to Notion. And we can see this was the 100 euros that we have put in the beginning and groceries bread, 10 euros with each created time. But now, in my case, I don't want to see the inflows. I just want to see the expenses. We can filter that. We can see here, this is the inflow. This amount is positive. So we can create a filter over here, call it only expenses. And the amount should be less than zero. Okay, now we can delete this to test it again. Okay, and just one went to Notion. Exactly, just the real expense. So I told you it was easy. It's a two-step automation. That is it. So there is one thing more to note. That is, this automation is just going to get triggered whenever we have assigned a category to an expense. Because if not, in YNAB, this is not categorized as an expense yet. So you have to accept it, and then it will enter in the, in the automation. Okay, so once we have all this set up, now let's go to Notion and let's see what we can do over here. 
Because if you've been following me for a little bit, you already know more or less what you can do. But some things that I will do is to group this by month. And this is where we are gonna be using our created time property. We can date by month and sort by newest first and hide empty groups. Then this one, we can turn it into some expense and this is gonna give us how much we have spent in this month. Then you can imagine over time that you will have all your months with how much you've spent per month and all of this automatically. You will just have to accept the transactions in YNAB and they're gonna come to your system automatically. Another thing that you can also do, maybe you can even create a linked database or a different view over here with a yearly view. So instead of grouping by month, you can group by year and it's gonna be exactly the same. You can just sum or maybe average or sum uh, yes, the, the expenses that you have had during that year. Now, if you really want to turn this up a notch, you can start uh, creating some categories, for example, in a select property, and you can create here several options, etc. And then from make, you will be able to, instead of just having this simple automation, to create a router here and then say, if the category contains groceries, then we create the database, but with the, let me refresh, with the category of groceries and, and the same with all the categories. So you can make it a little bit more complex if you want to also have the categories in, in Notion. I personally don't do it because I already have the categories in YNAB. And so for me, I just use Notion for the big picture, like how much I've spent, that is it. And if I want to go a little bit more in detail, I can always go to YNAB and look at the categories themselves. So this was everything. There is just one last thing to note, and this is that YNAB is a paid app. I believe it's $9 per month. Oh no, I lied. It's $8.25 if you pay annually, which is what I, what I do. But if you enter through the link in the description of the video, you and I will get one month for free. And if you have liked this video about automations, you can feel free to check this one over here where I show all the automations that you can build for your business that I have also built for mine. That is it for this time and as always, hasta la próxima.